Welcome back to my channel. Man Man here again for uh, Final Fantasy Gaming Vlog number 5. Please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified for the next Final Fantasy 14 Gaming Vlog. Thank you very much and enjoy. Let's proceed, log in, now loading, okay, Alistan. Date with destiny. What's this? Successfully complete ten fates. Okay, so move to log in notifications. Return to Gridania and speak with my own. Return to Gridania so I can just teleport back there Okay, so we are back in New Ridania. Let's look for Mother Mione. Mother Mione. Welcome back, Wendy. A little bird tells me that the hearer and his party owe you their lives. A tell for the tavern, if there were one. It is only shame that I must ask you not to tell it for the time being. At least, do I make myself clear? Until the hearers have made their will on the matter known, it would be best to avoid unsettling people with stories of walking statues. Now then, you must have suitable recompense for your valiant service. For the first half of your reward, I will I give you leave to make use of the accommodations here at the guild. Arrangements have been made, so all you need to do is speak with Antionot whenever you crave the comfort of a firm bed and a soft pillow. In rooms now available. For the second half of your reward, I offer you another path to fame and fortune kid lives. Kid lives are records of the virus requests we received from the citizenry. They outlined all manner of tasks which ambitious young adventurers like you can elect to undertake. Gontrant is our guild leave official or leave mate here at the Carline Canopy. I have spoken with him regarding your knack for solving challenging problems and he is eager to make your acquaintance. By the way, have you perchance heard about the coming festival? It is truly a splendid occasion, looked forward to by young and old alike. 
and one I heartily recommend that you take the time to enjoy. Don't be too disappointed if the recent troubles cast a shadow over proceedings, however, I fear nothing short of the mysterious interlopers apprehension can prevent that. But we were talking about you, Wendy. You have made mother proud. I expect great things of you, young lady. Choose this one, this dexterity. Quest complete. The recommendations list is now available. You now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. The recommendations list can be opened from under duty in the main menu and will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure of what to do next, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. Alright, level 12, action learned. Blood letter delivers an attack with potency of 150. Let's just move it here. Alright, and what did we get? One bronze sale. Okay. okay. What about this contrant love me? Gontrant is responsible for assigning guild libs at the car line canopy and is offering to give you an introduction to the world of live quests. Mother Mion has told me much of your endeavors, Wendy. Have you considered attempting one of the guild libs available here at the Adventurers Guild? Guild loves are the means by which we document requests for assistance from the citizenry prior to assigning them to adventurers possessed of the necessary skills. From battlecraft loves they, that require the examination of monsters to tradecraft loves that ask for the creation of goods, the tasks we term lev quests are many and varied in their nature. Should you interest be picked? I suggest you make your way to Bent Branch Meadows and speak with Tierney or Tyrney. She will be happy to set your feet on the path to completing your first love quest. Speak with Tyrney at Bent Branch Meadows. Impressed? Impressed by your progress, Mion wishes to send you on to Bent Branch Meadows, where you will find further opportunities to learn. How is my favorite fresh faced adventurer? Oh, do not scowl, so I speak out of habit. You come a long way since first you walked through my door, and I'll not deny it. As a matter of fact, I think it's about time you made yourself useful at Bent Branch Meadows in the Central Shroud. Unlike the recruits you see at the Bannock, the men and women out at Bent Branch are fully occupied with their own work. As such, I imagine there are more than a few who would become the assistants of a rapidly maturing adventurer like yourself. Bent Branch is also home to a very useful situated Aetherite 
it is. In other words, the perfect place for you to begin the next stage of your journey as an adventurer. And what better time than the present? Leave the city via the Blue Badger Gate and continue to the southwest until you be until you come to a bridge. Cross it and when you spy an athirite in the distance, you may congratulate yourself on having successfully found Bent Branch Meadows. If you so fancy, you may also make use of the Chocobo Porter Service, doubtless the safest way to get to your destination. Chocobo Kip Singor Singer should not hesitate to lend his birds to a capable adventurer like you. Oh, and be sure to introduce yourself to Keitha, the head Chocobo Wrangler, when you arrive. Okay, let's go out. Let's go out. I saw a quest here nearby, so we can actually get that first before we leave. Chocobo Keep. Chocobo Porter. Well, Matt Traveler, might I interest you in a Chocobo Porter? Oh, do not tell me. This is your first visit to this stop. I shall update my register with your name so that you may access this location in the future. Is that it? Okay, nothing. Is that it? Porters! Porters are similar to rental chocobos in that they can be hired to carry you quickly to various destinations. The differences being that you cannot control these birds and that they will not stop until they have arrived at their destination. On the other hand, porters are trained to take the safest route, meaning that they will never be attacked while in transit. There's no one else here. Let's just walk, walk there. Wait a minute. What is this matter of perspective? Let's go out there first. That is an archer's guild. Weaver's Hole. Lucian, Guildmaster. Guildmaster Lucian wishes to instruct you on the fundamentals of archery. Good morrow to you, Wendy. I felt that it was about time you returned. Have you grown more accustomed to the bow? Before we go any further, I wish to ensure you have grasped the fundamental essence of archery. Tell me, Wendy, do you truly understand what it means to see clearly? To see clearly is not merely to look, it is to observe with intent. Fail to do this and no amount of talent with a bow will avail you. An archer must remain vigilant for any trace of his target, overlooking not the smallest detail lest it prove crucial to the realization of his purpose. You must in short see clearly the coming task will test your powers of observation. A number of targets have been hidden throughout the city. I would have you seek out and destroy them. Each will fall easily to your heavy shot technique. When you have completed the task, return to me and we will continue. Destroy the targets, 06. Okay, we are to start. She said that we can use this heavy shot. This one.
you have returned. I trust you have begun to comprehend the crucial importance of seeing clearly. The next travel will test your powers of, of observation in battle. Travel to the north route and there put down 8 micro shoes and 8 opo opos. In contrast to the inanimate and woolly unfettered targets of the previous trial, these creatures may be relieved upon to move around and fight back. Nor are those the only difference, being comparatively numerous, microtus and opo opos are anything but difficult to find. And yet you may be assured that this task will test your powers of observation, albeit in different manner. This time you will need to evaluate the abilities of your opponent. In so doing, you will learn amongst other things the microtus produce a poison that can quickly sap one strength. While Oppo Oppos, like archers, possesses the, the, the advantage of range. Knowing their strengths, how will you go about mitigating them? If you commence your attack before identifying an effective strategy, you will soon be made to regret your folly. If you take the time to observe your targets from afar, you will surely glean the knowledge necessary to defeat them. 
I look forward to hearing of your success, Wendy. Eight. Eight of the opals and eight microchips. skill There, the upper upper.
doing more. Archer's Guild. Archer's Guild. Welcome back, young Wendy. Tell me, were you able to put your techniques to good use? When faced with an enemy who can attack from a distance, simply raining arrows upon it is wasteful and dangerous both. The battle would be not more than a contest of strength. By employing the appropriate technique, however, one may bring down one's foe with greater ease and fewer arrows. For instance, you may choose to prime your weapon well and strike hard, or employ toxin to sap their strength over time. On the assumption that this fact dawned upon you prior to the fall of your 16th target, I congratulate you on passing the trial. Nay, Silver, what is your honest evaluation? Not bad if you ask me. The adventurer pulls a good bow and is enthusiastic besides. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Lei Alia Poe and this is my second year at the guild. It's quite plain that you have talent with the bow, but you must take care to mind your surroundings when you are pursuing a target. I had my eye on you for the duration of your trial, but not once did you notice my presence. Mind your surroundings, that is rich coming from you. Your every movement is wasteful, adventurer. Your back is crooked and your elbow misaligned. It takes you an age to prime your bow and twice as long to lose an arrow. In summary, you fail with all counts. You have no talents as an archer, none whatsoever. I shall say it plain, this chain. This woman is not fit to wield a bow. For our sake and hers, we should revoke her membership. As I've always said, outsiders can scarce be expected to understand. Never mind, master, our noble art. We waste our breath trying to teach her like. Well, allow me to introduce you to Silver, our comrade at the books. The fellow was once of the God Screaver, you see, and he can be a little opinionated when it comes to archery. But you mustn't pay him any heed. He's like that to everyone. You'd be lucky to get much sense out of a fossil-brained wildwood alizen like him at the best of times. With them, it's always folks wood this, and elementals that, and oh, I have no offense intended, Lucien. None taken, Lay. I know full well the sum of my kind can be prideful to excess the intolerant of other races. Although people may behold the same object, ever will they see different things, 
There is no right or wrong to it, for it is a question of perspective. What matters is the perspective we chose to adopt. You are possessed of bright eyes, Wendy. Eyes that bespeak great understanding. They shan't lead you astray, so trust them and to what they see. Go now and resume your training. I will look forward to marking your progress when next we meet. Okay, what's next? Complete, but we need to choose. Dexterity. Strength plus dexterity. Obtain an untradeable item. This item is yours and yours alone. Cannot be sold or traded. You have obtained a unique item. As this item is special, you can never possess more than one at a time. Why is that so? It pieces me to see how you have grown as an archer. Plainly, you have taken my counsel to heart and learned to see with your own eyes. I would now have you discover what it means to behold things from a different standpoint. You will recall Lady Leopold, one of your seniors at the guild. I have given you over to her for his lesson. Speak with her and do as she bids. been expecting you, Wendy. Shall we get on with it then? First, a quick review. Remember how the bowmaster had you seek out and destroy targets hidden throughout the city? Well, I would have you to do. I will have you do the same. This time, however, you will need to venture outside the gates. I'm sure you've realized this by now that there is no guarantee of safety within the twelve wood. As you search, you should take care to mind your surroundings. You won't have the luxury of focusing solely on your quarry this time. You'll have to keep your eyes peeled for potential threats as well. That said, your objective is to destroy the targets alone, so avoid unnecessary combat and maintain a safe distance from any hostile creatures you encounter. Should you come under attack, take to your heels, risking direct confrontation only if you can't outrun your pursuers. Targets are hidden in the central shroud as before. Use the heavy shot technique to destroy each one with a single arrow. Go well, Wendy. That will be six again. And it's morning. So where is the central shroud? Outside. So we need to go outside and look for a six targets. We need to use the heavy shot to destroy each one.
Let's destroy six targets. So we have to go to these three orange circles on the map. It's already 16 minutes here, so we can use another one. Shimmering Spended again. Dynamite, is that one of the monsters here? Or Fate is this. The Matron's lead serves as an important through through thoroughfare for merchants and travelers. And to ensure they arrive safely at their destination, the area must be kept clear of deadly predators. Someone is actually doing this fate. Targets.
targets and one more swarm. Alright, we already finished the th six targets. So we just need to turn to Gridania. Loading. Okay, we are now back here in the Archer's Guild and we are going to pass our quest. Well, well, you made short works of those targets, I must say. It seems you've learned to seek your prey without being preyed upon. Not so sure about that, I killed a lot of scorpions there. Let's continue then. I mind to give you more practical experience and um, we received a request just recently which I think will provide the perfect opportunity. It seems three slugs and vultures have been congregating in ever increasing numbers in the vicinity of the honey yard. 
causing no end of trouble for the locals. We have been tasked with calling the beasts. This request comes direct from Steelglade Fane. When the wood whalers and the god screavers cannot spare the forces to attend to such matters, the conjurers often turn to us for help. And before you ask, there's a good reason why they would rather not see to this particular task themselves. The creatures in question possess abilities which can cause problems of the magical inclined. But that's quite enough about conjurers' troubles. Lucien taught you how to discern an enemy's key traits, did she not? Well, now you'll need to do so while maintaining situational awareness, lest you be overrun. Consider this a comprehensive review of her lessons and mine own. Your orders are as follows. Head out into the East Shroud and there put down eight tree slugs and eight vultures using all of your skills as an archer. Good hunting, Wendy. East go to the east again and hunt some tree and vultures conjurers guild East, right? So we need to go east. What is this? Schools of Hard Knocks. Where are the monsters? the shards
how can you uh, how can you add add bars default ok their hot bar settings there okay so we need to go west The East Round Mapping the Realm East Round EO or ten. Achievements Current Area Easy Town. There's a tree slug. Oh, Scraps of food left scattered along forests, swords of garden, engraving, Belkin, who, when the father is gone, set their sights on poor Lala Flynn. Lala Flynn pilgrims, pilgrims discourage further vultures from frequently frequenting the region by slaying the ones of every day. Ouch.
Let's go back to New Britannia. We already finished um, the two the two quests there. So let's go back to the Archer's Guild. Archer's Guild. Judging by your smug expression, I'd say you've acquired a feel for maneuvering to exploit enemy weaknesses while covering your own. Vultures are wont to keep their opponents at wings length and their attacks will send you flying. The solution to this is simply maneuver to the rear. Tree slugs, on the other hand, have an annoying knock of disrupting spell casting with their secretions. As such, you would do well to keep the creatures away from any mage in your party. Needless to say, good positioning is a key to success in battle, which is why it is absolutely essential that you know your target's traits. Knowing of these traits, traits is a fundamental part of hunting. Before the keepers of the moon conceived of archery, they dwelt not in the city but the forest for my people, hunting was a way of life. Hmm, in the hymn site, I suppose this was more a lesson on hunting than on archery. Lucien knows well my past, so mayhap this was in her intent. Hunting too is an art. Before I came to Redania, 
I never gave it much thought, but the more I think of home, the more I began to realize. Um, forgive me. I'm not usually given to its fits, given to fits of sentiment. Truly, forget I said anything. But do not forget that a hunter must recognize her prey's weakness and strike swiftly when the opportunity presents itself. That concludes the lesson. Now I suggest you pay Lucian a visit, which is doubtly eager to hear from you. It is good to see you, Wendy. I hope you have learned much from Lei. You, adventurer, is it true? Are you the one who slew the three slugs and vultures? How dare she entrust the security of our people to the hands of a stranger. I knew Miko Te were reckless and but she is downright irresponsible. Shame on her. Did I not warn you that it was folly to suffer that woman's presence in our guild, Lucian? Every time she wastes an error on game, she drags our noble art back into the darkness. I and this girl too, she is an embarrassment to us all. That is quite enough, Silver. Your skill with the bow is undeniable, as is your love of our nation, yet there is much and more you have yet to learn about archery. Wendy has matured greatly in the short time that she has been with us. You know this, uh, you know this to be true. I suggest you come to terms with Wendy's presence here. You will be giving her next lesson after all, unless of course you have any objections. As for you Wendy, I should have you devote yourself wholly to training ahead of your lesson with Silver. Suffice it to say, he will not be an easy instructor to impress. On that we can agree. Before you take your leave, there is something I would tell you. You are as dedicated a student as has ever set foot in these halls. In recognition of your fervor for learning, I hereby grant your permission to join the other guilds. Naturally, you will need to obtain the express permission of the relevant guildmaster, but I doubt that any will re refuse one such as you. In Gridania, you will find guilds representing lancers, conjurers, leather workers, carpenters, and botanists. You are free to seek membership in any that piques your interest. Sure, any. I ask you that you keep but one thing in mind. Although there is merit in exploring new avenues, there is also virtue in pursuing a single discipline with all one's heart. The decision is ultimately yours to make. Whichever path you take, be it at, be it that of the bow or no, I shall follow your progress with interest. For ye, for in you, I see the makings of greatness. You now have access to the armor system. Quests to unlock the other classes can be undertaken by speaking into the receptionist in the corresponding guild. There missed myriad disciplines in Eorzea that adventurers can take up. For the most rewarding experience, however, it is recommended that you first focus on mastering your current class. Disciplines of War. Gear sets. Gear sets allow you to save. Gear sets now available. Gear sets allow you to save several different combinations of equipment and swap them at your leisure. A button for the gear set interface is located in the upper portion of the character window. This can be a very convenient feature for players who regularly switch back and forth between various classes as well as for players who wish to have ready multiple sets of gear for the different types of duties to undertake such as PvP or instant 
items rates. Select the plus button to register your currently Crip gear as a new set. Upper right portion, update gear set. Violators will be shot. This quest is not yet available, level 15. Alright, so it's that's it. That's it. Thank you very much for watching Final Fantasy XIV Gaming Vlog number 5. Once again, Manman Man here and please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you will be notified for the next Final Fantasy XIV Gaming Vlog. Goodbye for now and see you next time. Bye bye.